Yeah. And Corky showed up. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 you that, probably that, saw that. a picture of me at yeah, the dinner. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's one guy I'd like to meet. Oh, Corky. Corky, yeah. Yeah, he's a guy. He gets around a lot. But he might, he I don't might come out. Have you ever uh, uh, went to, uh, uh, at a, the Chinese American Museum? The, 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 I don't know if he ever exhibited there. Yeah, he's not too happy with him. Yeah. But, but then again, I think they went through a, recently went through another uh, 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 yeah, 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 transition, you know, with, with, the, with the staff uh, and, the, the, and the leadership. Yeah, yeah I went down there um, about three weeks ago on Sunday afternoon. It was dead. There was hardly like anybody in there. Oh. It was always totally deserted. Uh -huh. so. But they just opened a uh, photo, uh, photo exhibit there with, with, with Tommy Arai and... Uh, oh, that, yeah, that's new. Yeah, yeah, that's just new, yeah. I didn't see that. Are you a historian or something? Or did you uh, write that book on uh, cooking or Not food? cooking. No, I, I did something doing with Chinese well, restaurants. Four oh, restaurants. Sweet There's sour. about four books on those cuts. I'm not. I'm not a bona fide historian. Oh. I, don't, I don't have a. I don't have a. a Accidental, like you say. Yeah, right. Are you, are you from the East Coast? Uh, actually, originally I'm from Georgia. Wow. wow. But I, I lived in San Francisco for a while. Uh, I live down in LA now. How did you meet Leland? Yeah. Everybody meets Leland one way or another. I don't know. How did first I meet time, first um, let's see, how did you know of him or did you before or I'm trying to remember. Oh, okay. Here's the first way I met Leland was I found one of his photographs on the internet. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. That uh, yeah. I, I wanted to You know use. that one of Mr. Kwan that, that picture that you want too, that one of Mr. Kwan the at, closing at time. Super Wing. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. I bought I, I Yeah, yeah. I have one on reserve from him. Oh yeah. So I see See, part of the, toward the end of my book, um, Sweet Tower, which is a, sort of like a social history of Chinese family restaurants. Uh -huh. And so like they're kind of like, a lot of them are kind of fading out now, you know. Uh -huh. You're getting all these mega restaurants and chains and... So you do this all over the country? Well, well more or less, yeah. I've, I've, I've done it all over the country, yeah. I've been in Seattle, Boston, New York, Chicago, Houston, Atlanta, Phoenix. You know, uh, speaking of restu Chinese restaurants, I've been, I was at Pittsburgh oh, yeah. recently. My son goes to college there. Oh, yeah. And there's only one restaurant there called the Chinatown Inn or Hong Kong Inn or something. Is that right? And that used to be, the whole place used to be Chinatown. Yeah. That's the only place left. The only one left, Chinatown yeah. Well, you Pittsburgh. know, a lot of those, they all moved out to suburbs, suburban area. Oh, so that's what happened. Yeah, that's why, I mean, there's still Chinese restaurants, but they're not in the old Chinatowns. Uh-huh. Like, you go to Washington, D.C., that's like, like yeah. one block. They got a beautiful <laughs> arch. And then like one block, it's and all it's, white businesses, it's most, yeah, with Chinese that, names. Yeah, yeah, you'll see a subway in the middle of it with, with Chinese characters over it, but it's not really Chinese food. <laughs> well, even though like the McDonald's and the Starbucks, they, they have it in Chinese. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're trying to make it look like yeah, it's so a funny. Chinese, but uh, and I yeah, haven't but, done. But, I haven't spoken in Pittsburgh. You know. Philadelphia is uh, still active. Though, yeah, it's it's so yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're all in kind of like they're going through the state of flux. With, with the gentrification and all that, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what ha that's what's happening here, uh, according yeah. to England. Yeah. Oh, yeah, every every major yeah. city is that way. Every major Chinatown's really going through that. But you know, it's sort of like change is inevitable in one sense. I mean, you know, whether we like it or not. Yeah, because you know, when you turn around, you know, you, you, you look you at ask the ABCs. I say, hey, it, who is willing? How, how come you guys aren't moving back in? You know, if that doesn't happen. Well, Pretty much just in the Chinatown. Yeah, well, you look here and you got uh, Clement Street, uh -huh. and you got over yeah. in Oakland. Yeah, yeah, there's other places other now. Other places. Yeah. Uh, like New York City. You've been to New York City, right? No, oh, okay. My family has, yeah. Okay, there's a little small Chinatown down near, sort of near Wall Street. And it's, it, you know, it was not, never really big, you know. It's sort Is of like, it, it sort of like took over part of what used to be Little Italy. But, well, that's on Mott Street and yeah, uh, yeah, Mulberry Street. Bowery. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they got a huge shine town over in Flushing, and yeah. they got a huge shine town in Sunset Beach in Brooklyn. I tried to get down to see it this time, but I didn't have time. 
Uh, from what I understand. Uh, the, the Taiwanese is more Taiwanese heavy. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. So when they move out to the suburbs, is that like Monterey just Park, as legitimate you know? of a Chinatown? As oh, well, it doesn't. It doesn't or? look the same, but I mean, it's legitimate in that uh, the place has got a lot of Chinese people living there, and they've got uh, Chinese stores, and and you know that's where they. The, it's not as not as touristy looking as say some of the old Chinatowns, where the, the yeah. non Chinese go. Just modern malls. Yeah, it's kind of like what Vancouver. Yeah, is. yeah well, you, you seen the Vancouver Chinatown? Yeah. It's, it's mm -hmm. really kind. Of, Are you coming yeah. to uh, yeah. with the blast? All all yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, and there's all these druggies and everything, and, and yeah. so they try to renovate that. But the newer Chinese, the ones from um, Taiwan, the they all move to an uh, area called the Richmond area. district. Yeah, yeah. Because they, they like the word Richmond. It sounds like rich man. And no, well, the Chinatown evolves. I mean, if you go to L.A., the old Chinatown is down by the train station, but it, it it's kind of vibrant in the daytime, but at nighttime it's pretty dead because the Chinatown in L.A. has all moved out to San Gabriel Valley, Monterey Park, and then eastward for at least 10 or 20 miles all the way to Roland Heights. This is street after street of Chinese stores and you know restaurants, uh, you know all. Ranch 99s. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Is it good or bad? I mean, for well, the future I, of, let's say, well, I don't Chinese Americans, you know, well, Chinatown history. Well, I, I can't say well, it's good or bad. I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, it's or, 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 any. What you feel? Well, the, on well, it depends on who you are. I mean, like if you if you own property in the old Chinatown and and it's decaying, you're gonna feel bad, right? But if if you're from Taiwan and you don't you just the speak. Cantonese or just you know, CHS? Shan, why, no, you're going to feel more Today comfortable in Monterey uh, Park. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, no, uh, uh, it's a younger generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And a lot of the, you know, a lot of the ones that are coming over are coming over with money. Hey, you know, that's like all from mainland. They're, the gardens, they're coming in and buying out all these houses and everything. And so, um, from our point of, from point of view of like my my ancestors, is a bad thing in a way because we don't get any respect. Yeah. You know, they look down on us because, you know, they got it made, you know. But, like, my parents, that came over, they came over dirt poor. Uh -huh. You know, I had to struggle and everything. So, uh, they're all Chinese, but they're not all the same, is what, I, what I'm saying. Well, it's like what uh, Norman Fong was saying yesterday at his event, uh, was that uh, everyone grew up in Chinatown. They, they all knew each other. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Which it made them, together. you know, feisty and, you know, kind of proud yeah. that, that, you know, that they yeah. grew up yeah. like this. But yeah, but right. Now, but, but, yeah, the, it's changed now. It's different for the newer generation growing up. It's different. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm.